the wrong guy. Does he look like he can fight? Come on, bro. <laughs> 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 It's a real honor to speak with you. Thank you for joining us. Simu, congratulations on the film. Thank you so much for joining us on ABC News Breakfast. It, it is a pleasure, Zach. Thank you for having me. What was it about this particular story that drew you to the Marvel Cinematic Universe? I think I really wanted to do something different from what I've did in the past 39 years. and. Uh, before I decided to take this project, I had a net meeting with uh, our director, Destin, and uh, I have a very good talk with him, and I have a very good feelings about this person. I think he is so sincere, and I feel like he is someone I can trust. And because at the very beginning, I know he just gave me a very little hints about my character and I know nothing about the story. So he is the only one I can rely on. And I, because I have a very good feelings on him, so that's why I decided to take this project. Yeah, your performance in this film has so many layers. What was your process of finding the soul of such a complex character? I really don't know. I just try to figure out um, uh, the backstory of this character, how he brought up, what he went through. I just tried to figure out that story outside the script. So I think the more details you, you, can, you can put into the, this, the, the backstory, then you can create such a uh, complicated character. Uh, to prepare for your role in the 2013 film, The Grandmaster, you spent four years <laughs> training in the martial arts. And I understand you also broke some bones. Right. Did that training come in handy for this project? For this project, because at the very beginning, I didn't know I have that much fighting scenes because I've asked Destin uh, before and, and I asked him, do I have to, do I have to fight? And he said, no, you, you don't have to fight. You have the uh, rings. And I thought, I don't have to fight. So I didn't prepare uh, before I go to Sydney. So, uh, but uh, fortunately, I practiced some martial arts before. So I think it really helps me to, to do all the action in this movie. How do you feel the representation of the characters has changed from the 1970s comic book to this feature film incarnation? I don't have a chance to to read the com the, the comic books in the uh, in the past days, so I I don't know how to compare with them. But I think Marvel is trying to to create a new character, a new villain that that doesn't have any relations to the 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 character before. What are your recollections of uh, visiting that city? I love Sydney <laughs> because I love water sports. We only have to work like five, five days a week. So in the weekend, I usually go to the beaches. There are lots of lovely beaches in Sydney and uh, the people is really nice. I was speaking with Simu yesterday. Uh, how did you explore the dynamic between your characters with him? I like a master class every single day. I mean, he is literally as big as it gets in Asia. I, I always tell my friends who aren't familiar with him. Imagine Leonardo DiCaprio, George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Matt Damon all rolled up into one and, and that's Tony Lung. And um, you know, I, I had all sorts of nerves and anxiety built up, you know, in, in meeting him for the first time. And in one smile and one shake of the hand, he really just kind of blew me away. He's just so incredibly down to earth and so generous. And by the way, very patient with my questions because I never I never really let him rest in between takes. I was always full of uh, questions about, oh, what about your time on Hero? What about your time on the Grandmaster? What about that scene that you did with Jet Li? And it was so beautiful and just constantly pestering him. And he was, he, he answered all of my questions with a smile and he was so, so patient and so kind. And, and by the way, an incredible performer.